Okay, hi. Let's keep going here. So now what we're going to do is we've, we've taken that point and we've reflected it over into the second quadrant and we can see that sine, the sine ratio for this angle is, is going to be positive, but cosine and tangent will be negative. Now we're going to take this point and reflect it again over the, uh, this time over the x-axis so that the point is now down here. This is negative x comma negative y. Okay, the rotation angle we're studying will be this one right here. Uh, but now the definitions are, are slightly different here. Sine of theta is going to be negative y over r. Okay, cosine of theta will be negative x over r. Now both of those are going to be negative because the coordinates here are negative. Tangent on the other hand is going to be negative y over negative x and because I've got a negative over a negative Okay, those two negatives are going to cancel each other out and we're going to be left with a positive value here. So when the rotation angle puts our terminal arm in the third quadrant, only the tangent ratio of that angle is going to be positive. Now let's do one more time here and let's fl uh, flip that, that triangle over the y-axis again. This is going to put us out here. Uh, this time it's only the y coordinate, okay, in the fourth, sorry, in the fourth quadrant, it's only the y coordinate that's negative. There's our rotation angle, theta, because remember, we're always measuring that angle. The angle that we're, um, that we're really interested in is this rotation angle. It's measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise around to the terminal arm, okay? And now, sine of theta will be negative y over r, Okay, negative because the y coordinate is negative. Cosine will be positive x over r, because in this quadrant here x is positive. But tangent, like sine, okay, is going to be negative, because it will be negative y over that positive x. So to summarize what we've just seen here, the rule that we introduce is the cast rule. Okay, so what we've seen here is that when the terminal arm is in each of these quadrants here, if it's in the first quadrant, all of the trig ratios are going to have a positive value. But when we reflect that over into the second quadrant, only the sine ratio, okay, so for all angles between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, only the sine ratio is going to be positive. If we go from between 180 to 270, okay, we've seen that only the tangent ratio for those particular angles will be positive. And then if we go from 270 to 360, just the cosine ratio for those guys will be, will be positive. So there's our cast rule. Okay, all sine, tangent, cos.